today, and this is no joke, April 1st, 2023, April Fool's Day, and that right there ain't no joke either. I'm in Slidell, Louisiana. We're only about a quarter of a mile from Lake Pontchartrain. Interstate is two blocks, that way you could probably hear the trucks rumbling by. And we got us some bees underneath the trailer. This is a, I can't believe how calm these bees are right now, um, but that is an awesome looking hive. So I'm gonna get, these bees are actually gonna be coming back with me to the Abbey today, and I'm gonna set them up in, in my lay-ins hive. And that's really what this video is gonna be about, is getting these bees out of here, and then headed back up to the Abbey, framing up the comb, and setting them up in the, in the lay-ins hive. The homeowner, said that these bees have been here for at least a year and I believe it. Um, I don't know. I don't know if the bees have moved over onto this side or how far back they go, but it's a very healthy looking colony and, and judging from how they're reacting to what I'm doing right here, they're pretty gentle bees. But by the grace of God, I, I think, well Charlie's not with me today. Charlie is sick. I got Julio. Julio, you want to try to get in that film right there? Look. Look, Julio is right here. Come on, bend down. Get in there. There's Julio. Julio's here with me, and he's going to help me do the removal today. Charlie is out sick. He, he called me last night. Man, I can't make it. I can't make it. So, Charlie, I hate to tell you this. I don't think this is going to take two hours to do. But by the grace of God, these girls are coming up to the Abbey with me. Julio, you want to wrangle some bees now? Yes, let's do it. All right, let's do it. That is one beautiful looking hive. Now, I can't tell how much comb is on there. And like I said, I can't tell how if it goes back any further. No, I see it doesn't go back any further. So that's it. And where the bees are right here, that's why I suspect they may be moving over into this section of the flooring right here. But uh, they may not. We're gonna we're gonna open that up and look and see. I'm gonna grab the the bee vac and we're gonna start vacuuming bees out of this thing, knocking the numbers down, cutting the comb out, and moving these girls up to the abbey. Wow, we that is one beautiful looking hive. I just vacuumed the, the surface bees is all I got. And this is this is what our comb is looking like. Beautiful, beautiful comb. And what I'm going to do is work from this end of the hive. I've already pushed all the insulation back over here. Got all the bees out of this section. And I'll just work from this end of the hive towards the outside of the trailer and pushing our bees that way and, and that way our bees really can't run anywhere. This is a lot of bees, a lot of bees.
I'm six or seven sections of comb in now and I finally came across some worker brood. Man, there was a lot of drone brood uh, on there. I don't know how much of that stuff is gonna wind up going into the hive, but I'm glad to finally see some worker brood. And this is older stuff. You can see it's older stuff. Uh, so our queen is still further back inside of there. Coming along really good though. Lots and lots of bees in this hive. Oh my goodness. It's gonna be a great one to put into the lanes. How did you like all them cups? And I don't think anything was in them. And there is another one. There it is right there. So that part of the comb was split. I kind of thought that we'd have found our queen by now. But look at this, there's some really young brood. I don't know if my camera's gonna show that. Let's see. You know, I can't even see it in here, but there you go. It's, in there they're covering it up all on cap very young so our queen is definitely in this area right here so i don't think it's going to be too long before that happens and we really don't have that much more of the hive left to go we're probably two-thirds mm -hmm. the way through
We are down to the nitty gritty, huh? <laughs> and that queen is somewhere up in there because I have not seen her. At least I hope she's somewhere up in there. All right, I'm gonna start backing them up and looking for her and see if we can find her. Now you see that space right there? They're all running over there. And that's connected to over here. So I'm gonna have to remove some of that insulation because I think we're gonna find a cluster of bees on that other side. And in that cluster, I think that's where our queen is. And look at there, here's our cluster. So let's go ahead and see if she's in that one right there. Well, <laughs> we didn't, we vacuumed her up. Look, look at the, see how the bees are going to the exhaust of our vac. And look, look at the drones. Look at the drones going in there. All, look at all the drones out here. So her pheromone is spreading out here and it's just calling in these drones and they just want to get in. <laughs> they want to find her. So unfortunately I did not see her and she wound up in the vacuum. Let me show you what's going on inside underneath the trailer. And, and a lot of these bees that you see out there those are all robberies. I, I mean, I had to shut that ice chest. It was all three of them. The bees were on them. It, it was bad. The robber bees, at least. But there's still a few more hive bees in here. But these ones that are just flying around, just like this, they're either drones or they're robbers. But there are a lot of drones mixed up in there, that's for sure, because I can see, I can see them. They're just bigger. But for the most part, it ain't there no more. We got a couple more bees and I'll vacuum these things up and we're headed back up to the Abbey to install these girls in our laying side. All right, finally got back to the Abbey, but we had to stop on the way back. Got a call, a swarm call. So we had a, a swarm to remove and, but we get, did that and now we're back at the Abbey. Julio had to leave, so I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting the cone. Let me show you um, what we got here. But here's our, here's our bees that we vacuumed up from underneath the trailer. This comb is the comb from that cut out uh, the swarm that I just got. They'd been there for four days and they'd made that, that comb right there. And here is the laying hive that I built. And let me open it. So it's insulated. I've got two layers of R3 insulation in the top, in the sides, in the bottom, and on all four sides. And it's also has a screen ventilation. Uh, my follow board's got a, a, a vent screen so it, it can go ahead and, and that air can move through this hive. And these are the frames that I built and that that comb that that I've got I'm getting ready to frame up it's going to fit in here beautifully really nice and then on the other side these are the other frames that I built so they can draw their natural comb on this as well let's get inside and I'll show you oh look on the outside that's it it's got the little rough one uh, one by eight rough pine siding on it. Pretty hard. I can hardly wait to get these bees in here. Three ice chests it took to carry all that. Now I know I've got bees in there, so I'm gonna, when I open that, they're gonna fly out, but I'll vacuum those up. And this is a little swarm that I, we picked up on, on the way back to the attic. So let me show you the cone. Now this is the first box. So this one had a little bit of honey in it, some brood. I mean, some really, really nice comb. This is all brood in this one. And then in this one was the last couple sections of comb. Boy, the heat. Ice chests really do keep the, um, the, the the brood warm. It really does. Now those bees will keep it warm too. But 
as long as the brood was kept, it, it'll survive in, in these ice chests. But if it's uncapped, and you can see those drone broods right there, they're not uncapped. If they're, if they're not capped, they won't make it. But all of the brood, I mean, that I saw, well, I see some of it not capped. But the bees will have to take those out, the ones that died, and they'll clean it up. But for the most part, the capped brood will survive. And keeping them in, this, in these ice chests really is the ticket on that. So I'm going to go ahead and start cutting this comb up and framing it. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to use that drone comb. It's just not worth it to put in, the, in this hive as they're recovering from the stress and getting rebuilt up. They don't need to feed those, those bees and they'll make more anyway. So let's cut some pen. What I'm going to do is simply lay my frame on the piece of comb I'm going to trim off, square it off on the bottom so it's going to be able to rest on it. And then cut to the inside of the frame. Push it in there. Let it slide down. And I would say that's butamous. Let's do the next one. High beetle. Dead high beetle. So, There you go. And all the tops of my bars, they're wax coated. All right, let me finish cutting these out before I get outside and do the release. Let me show you, I've used all of the comb that was in our boxes. And this is the cull that I got. And all this, I'll just go ahead and let the bees rob all this stuff out, the little bit of honey that I left in there as well as in those other two ice chests right there. And then I'm gonna melt that wax. It took me about 45 minutes to frame that stuff up, but I thought about how I wanted to do it a little bit better. And I used up almost all, the, well, I used up all the big comb that I had and just cut all around it. Got, I made sure I got plenty of stores in there, so I got all their honey in there. So let me show you. We got one, two, three, four. I got 11 frames out of that is what I got. And this is how I wound up framing it up like this. This is the only one that I didn't frame up full. But all the other ones are framed up. Nice and full. Almost like the bees drew it out themselves. Brood. Most of these are brood in here.
and I put the honey up on the top of, of the frames just like they normally do. That one couldn't frame it up the right way, <laughs> but that one the best one we could. That had all the cups on it, the swarm cups on it. And the last one. Alright, I'm going to go ahead outside now, set these in the, in the hive, and then we'll get our bees turned loose on them. Alright, got the strap undone, and let's try to get this done before we start any robbing going on. That would be disastrous, but at this point, very possible. And all I'm going to be doing taking my frames, bouncing them down into the bottom of this, and I'll be looking on the frames uh, before I bounce them into there. So we're going to start with our lid. That is a lot of beans. I didn't even look to see if she was on there. Hopefully she wasn't. Because we gotta get we gotta get going through this box pretty quick. Because our bees are coming out right now. <laughs> Let me just get our frame. Now look briefly. Look. And shake it in. I gotta show you a picture of these bees down here. <laughs> Look at those bees in that box. My goodness. Tell, I kind of gave up on looking for that queen. I'm hoping that I'm going to spot her in the box. So I'm going to look down in the box and see if I can find her in the box. Well, <laughs> good luck with trying to find her in all of this mess, huh? Wow. At this point, I'm just going to go ahead and knock the rest of these bees in there. Give them a few days and then I'll go back and see if I can find her. Maybe. <laughs> All right, let's get these girls in the box. Camera to show you what's going on in there. Look at this. Long and long beans. Yep. <laughs> That is a lot of people. 
I really did want to put a lot of bees in this hive to see if we could really get a good jump on it. And I think I picked a pretty good <laughs> colony to make our start. Now I still got to go turn those other bees loose, so let me go ahead and start getting that ready set up. Things are definitely calming down over here. We still got a lot of bees in the air on the outside. So I've got everything set up to release that other swarm. So let's go over there and I'll show you what I got over there. <laughs> well, two for two on <laughs> not finding our queen today. I guess just that's the way it goes. All right, we're going to give these girls a little bit more chance to calm down. Those girls are almost done. And then we're going to wrap up. I'll wrap up this video. <laughs> it's been almost 40 minutes since we did all this. And look at that, we got everybody set up. These guys are good to go. The layman's. Still a lot of activity going on. Look at that, they're already honing in on the entrance to the hive. And you know, one more thing I still gotta do. This is the swarm I caught, I don't know, two, yeah, two days ago, three days ago. It's time to let these girls out. There you go. They've been locked up for three days. I think they can come out for a flight. <laughs> Goodness sakes, they didn't want to come out, didn't they? <laughs> It has been a long day today. Oh my goodness, started up, got up here at the Abbey at uh, 5.30 this morning and the church bells just finished ringing, so it's 5.30 right now. So I'm headed out to the house. Now, I will be doing follow-up videos on all of those hives. You know I'm gonna do one on the Lanes hive, but on the Apame hive, as well as that little uh, nuke, how they're doing. So it, it was a good day, but this old boy, he's tired. So thanks for watching. Keep on watching and I'll be making more. God bless, Mr. Ed. I'm out of here until the next video.